Hello everyone, welcome back to the data project series. This data project assignment is from Uber. Let's take a quick look back at the scenario and we can begin solving the questions. In the previous video, we prepared the data by cleaning it up and we solve the first question, which is how much would the total bonus payout be with option one. In this video, we will solve the questions two, three, and four. So let's get right into it. Let's look at the scenario again. So the scenario is that it's going to be a huge Saturday and there will be many cars on the road than last week. In order to encourage the drivers to go online, we're assessing two bonus options in terms of cost. Option one is a $50 bonus for each driver that is online for at least eight hours, accepts 90% of the requests, completes 10 trips, and has a rating of 4.7 or more. Option two is a $4 per trip bonus for all drivers who complete 12 trips and have a rating of 4.7 or better. Using the first option, we have found out that the bonus payout is $1,050. In this question, we will find out what is the bonus payout for option two. Our coding approach is going to be the same but instead of four filters like we did before, we are going to have two conditions. One, the driver should complete more than 12 trips and two, maintain a 4.7 or better rating. So now let's see the code. Here we have a second option data frame where we're filtering it based on the trips completed, greater than or equal to 12 and rating greater than or equal to 4.7 and we're using the head function to preview the output. So here we have our output. So we found the drivers who qualify for the second option. Now it's time to do the math. We will calculate the sum of the completed trips by using the sum method and we will multiply the results by four. Well, because of the $4 per trip bonus, and as a final step, we will add a dollar sign at the beginning of the result. To do that, we need to turn our result into a string. And we're using a string function for this. So now let's see the output. The answer is $2,976. And if you're a Python one-liner fan, you want to write it all in just one line instead of filtering and making the calculations in separate lines. Now let's do that. You start by adding the dollar sign and then doing the filters, which you will sum up at the end and multiply by four and convert this entire filter into a string. And here we go. The answer is exactly the same. Great. Now let's move on to the next question. The third question is how many drivers would qualify for a bonus under option one, but not under option two? Well, in this question, we will need to merge the two data frames we used for option one and option two. We will add an indicator to our code as an argument to find the drivers who qualify for a bonus under option one, but not under option two. And here's the answer. So our merge data frame contains the first option data frame, and we're emerging with second option data frame on the first options column to list using a left join and we're adding an indicator. So here's the output and here's the merge column that we're talking about. So the merge column shows where the rows come from, whether the first data frame, which is the left or the second data frame on the right or both. In this scenario, all rows came from both data frames, except the 16th and 17th one. So let's select these two rows by adding the condition to the merge column that we just created. So here we go. 
So these are the two drivers that qualify for option one, but not under option two. That's Orin and Phillips. If you want to write it all in one line again, so the one liner here is this. So this one liner finds the index first and then calculates the difference. And then we use the length function to find the length of this difference to find out the result. Let's look at the code again. Let's run it. And here we go. We have two drivers qualifying and that's the output. Now let's go to the question number four. What percentages of drivers online completed less than 10 trips? and had an acceptance rate of less than 90% and had a rating of 4.7 or higher. So here the question wants us to find the rate of drivers that satisfy the following conditions. A. Completed less than 10 trips. B. Acceptance rate less than 90% and C. Rating of 4.7 or higher. We will answer this like we answered our first, second and third questions which is by adding multiple conditions to filter. Now let's see the code. So we're using the same method, which is filtering. So we're filtering by the trips completed, less than 10, acceptance rate less than 90, and rating greater than or equal to 4.7. And here we go. There we have the table. We have less acceptance rate less than 90, and trips completed less than 10, and rating above 4.7. So now that we found the drivers, we're going to find the percentage by dividing the total number of drivers by the length of the data frame itself and then multiplying by 100. And of course, we need to turn it into a string using the string method and add a percentage sign at the end. So the answer, well, it's a huge number, but I think we can fairly round it off to 10.92 percentage. and. So we can say that 10.92 percentage of drivers met the criteria. And if you want to write it in one line again, here we first filter the data frame as we did before. Then we will divide it by the shape of the data frame to find the ratio. And then we will multiply it by 100 to calculate the percentage. And we'll add a percentage sign at the end of the result. And here we go. It's the same exact answer. And that's that for this video. So thank you for solving these questions with us. To solve the second scenario in the Uber Data Project, stay tuned with us for the next video. As always, check out our Strata Scratch platform for more data science related questions. And I'll see you soon.